Hello and welcome to Math Simplified. In this video, we will learn about an awesome method to remember the steps and enzymes of glycolysis in a simplified way. I found biochemistry extremely difficult to memorize when I was in college. Every pathway that I used to study, I used to spend hours on an end to remember that, and all of that was gone in a week. Eventually, you get to know about the awesome technique of using mnemonics as a memory aid. And I discovered some mnemonics to help me remember this complex pathway of glycolysis. Now, obviously, before beginning, I hope all of you have seen the videos of glycolysis on our channel. Well, if you haven't, make sure to do that so you have a better understanding of this topic. The link to the videos about glycolysis and other topics of carbohydrate metabolism are in the description below. So, glycolysis is the initial pathway of metabolism of carbohydrates. Through the pathway of glycolysis, Glucose, which is a 6-carbon compound, is broken down into two molecules of pyruvate, which is a 3-carbon compound. This is why this is known as a lysis or breakdown since glucose is being broken down into smaller fragments known as pyruvate. Now this breakdown involves 10 steps and all these steps use enzymes that make the reactions possible. Now to remember glycolysis in a better way, you first need to remember all the intermediate products that are formed in the pathway of glycolysis. And then we will try to memorize about the various enzymes that are involved in the pathway at different steps. So first let's memorize all the intermediate molecules of glycolysis with a simple mnemonic. And to memorize this mnemonic first, you will listen to one of the most bizarre stories you have ever heard. And I guess that is probably a good thing as that makes sure you won't forget it for a lifetime. So listen, there are two types of boys. One are good guys and the other are gross guys. The gross guys, they favor big butts. And the good ones, they prefer pretty girls in pink pajamas. Okay. Now you may ask, what does all of this has to do with the breakdown of glucose? Well, this story actually brings us to our first mnemonic. Gross guys favor big butts, but good boys prefer pretty girls in pink pajamas. Now, this mnemonic is based on the following substances. The G in gross stands for glucose, which is the first molecule used in glycolysis. Again, we have one more G that stands for glucose 6-phosphate, which is the next molecule in this pathway. The F in the word favor stands for fructose 6-phosphate. In the next reaction, another phosphate molecule gets attached to fructose 6-phosphate to make it a fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Since it is a bisphosphate, now the word for it in the mnemonic starts with B, that is big butts. Next two words we have in the mnemonic are good boys. The G in good stands for glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, which is produced when fructose 1,6-bisphosphate is split into two molecules. One is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and the second one is dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Only the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate can move forward with the pathway of glycolysis and not the dihydroxyacetone phosphate. This is why only glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is included in the mnemonic. The next word is boys, which stands for bisphosphoglycerate, more particularly 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. So the last line in the mnemonic was good boys prefer pretty girls in pink pajamas. And here you can see the next few molecules that come in the pathway of glycolysis. The P in prefer stands for 3-phosphoglycerate which is a product formed when we remove 1-phosphate from 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. The next P in pretty stands for 2-phosphoglycerate, the product formed as a result of transfer of 1-phosphate group from the third position to the second position. The P in pink stands for phosphoenol pyruvate and the P in pyjamas stands for pyruvate which is the last molecule generated in the pathway of glycolysis. So this was a memory trick to remember all the intermediate molecules that form in the pathway of glycolysis. Now you also need to remember all the enzymes that are involved in these reactions. And trust me, when I was back in college, I found it extremely hard to remember the enzymes of glycolysis and Krebs cycle until I found some good mnemonics, of course. And for this, 
First, listen to this small stupid story about a girl named Helen. So this is Helen and she's a 15 year old cute little girl living in her home. Just in front of Helen's home are training grounds for players where they do their exercises and play and all that. Now Helen used to sit along the training grounds and paint pictures all day long. And she used to pray that people enjoyed her paintings. And this brings us to our mnemonic that will help us to remember all the enzymes of glycolysis. Helen paints pictures along the training grounds, praying people enjoy paintings. So we have Helen who paints pictures along the training grounds and she used to pray that people enjoyed her paintings. Now in this mnemonic, the H stands for hexokinase, which is the first enzyme involved in glycolysis, which converts glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. P stands for phosphoglucose isomerase, the enzyme which converts glucose 6-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate. The next letter we have in this mnemonic is again a P and the enzyme here is phosphofructokinase 1, which converted fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Next we have aldolase from the letter A. This enzyme breaks down fructose 1,6-bisphosphate into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. The next enzyme is again an isomerase that catalyzes the isomerization of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate to dihydroxyacetone phosphate and vice versa. Now since this isomerase is acting on three carbon compounds, the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate, the complete name for the enzyme is triose phosphate isomerase, therefore the letter T. The next word we have in our mnemonic is ground which starts with G. The G here stands for our next enzyme in glycolysis which is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. This enzyme converts glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate to 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. Next letter we have in the mnemonic is a P which stands for phosphoglycerate kinase. This kinase catalyzed the conversion of 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate to 3-phosphoglycerate. Next we have a P again and this stands for phosphoglycerate mutase, the enzyme which converted 3-phosphoglycerate to 2-phosphoglycerate. The word enjoy in the mnemonic stands for our next enzyme, enolase. Enolase converts 2-phosphoglycerate to phosphoenol pyruvate. The last word in the mnemonic is again a P which stands for pyruvate kinase. This is the enzyme used in the last step of glycolysis in the conversion of phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate. Now all these mnemonics are useful only when you have a thorough understanding of the topic of glycolysis and the rest of carbohydrate metabolism. Make sure to watch these videos on glycolysis, Krebs cycle and electron transport chain to have a complete understanding of the topics. You can get the flashcards from this video as well as the lecture handouts from all our other videos by joining our community at patreon.com or clicking the join button below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.